Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we will write a python program to print a number pattern. That is we want to print numbers in this right triangle shape. And when I take number of row as 5 then the pattern will begin from 15 and will end at 1. So it is like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15. If I take number of row as 4 then we will get this pattern. The pattern will start from 10 and it will end at 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We need to print the numbers in the descending order and we want to print the numbers in the right triangle shape. So here we can see when n is 3, here n is nothing but number of row. We need to start from 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When n is 2, 3, 2, 1. When n is 1, 1. So today we want to write a python program to print this number pattern and in this channel in my channel we already discussed many pattern programs right and in the most of the pattern program we used nested for loop that's why here also i'll use nested for loop to print this pattern and this is the basic format of uh, any pattern program first we'll ask the user to enter the number of row how many row we want in the output and here I am using python3 so in python3 by default this input function will take input as string value but here we want number of row which is an integer value that's why we are using int function to convert the string input to integer and we are storing the user input in variable n next we have two for loop for loop for row and for loop for column so in the for loop for row we took range as n here we need to mention how many row we want so we want n rows and here we want to print the numbers in the right triangle shape right and for that we need to take i plus 1 column here. We already discussed about many patterns related to right triangle shape and I will give you the link of all the videos in the description box. If you have any doubt in these statements you can watch that video. In those videos you can see the detailed explanation for these statements. Next here we are using print function to print the number. Here we want to print the number right. Here it is left empty. We will uh, fill that later. And here we can say end is equal to space. In the print function we are using end parameter. That is to keep the control in the same line. By default end value will be slash n. And if I didn't use this then it will print numbers in a single line. Vertical line. I don't want that. We want in a particular shape. That's why we need to take end parameter here. And here you can see print function. It is in the first for loop outside the second for loop. That is for every row. After every row we need to go to the next line. That's why we are using this print function. I hope you are clear with this uh, format. These are the basic statements required to print a pattern program. Now if I print star here. Okay. For example in the print function. It will print stars in the right triangle shape like this. Here you can see instead of star if I print i it will print a number okay if I print j it will print some other pattern it will print the numbers in the right triangle shape but will get different numbers but today here we want to print this pattern and the pattern will begin from 15 when n value is 5 and if n value is 4 we need to start from 10 and if n value is 3 we need to start from 6 starting is a problem after that you can see 6 we want to print 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 numbers in the descending order. But how we will get to know when number of row is 5 we need to start from 15 or when number of row is 4 we need to start from 10 and we are writing a general program so it, it need to work for any number of row. How to find starting value? For that first we need to construct a formula and for that we need to take a variable called k okay initially I need to take that as 0 and here you can see when n is 1 I want 1 I don't want any other extra value right when n is 2 I need to start from 3 that means I need to add plus 1 to this the starting point right when n is 2 we need to start from 3 so I need to add 1 when n is 3 here I need to start from 6 that means 3 plus 3 6 I need to add when n is 4, I need to start from 10. That means I need to add 6. When n is 5, I need to start from 15. That means I need to add 10. 
what is this 1 3 6 10 these are the extra value we need to add to get the starting point of the pattern program so these values are nothing but k here okay i'll take a variable k to store these values it is 1 3 6 10 these extra values so if i take my starting value as m i can take n plus k here it is 0 so when n is 1 i want k as 0 so 1 plus 0 1 here m is the starting value n is the number of row k is nothing but the extra value so here when n is 2 if i get k as 1 2 plus 1 3 we'll get starting value as 3 3 and 3 6 so m as 6 n is 4 k is 6 so we'll get 10 n is 5 k as 10 we'll get 15 now how to find k value for that initially take k as 0 next use a loop for i in range n and you need to take k is equal to k plus i when n is 1 range will be from 0 to 1 so k equal to k plus i initially k will be 0 k plus i so i value will be 0 so 0 plus 0 k 0 we don't have any other thing to execute it will come out of the loop so k value will be 0 and next for n is 2 here n is 2 0 to 2 that means 0 and 1 i value initially i value will be 0 k is initially 0 k equal to k plus i so 0 plus 0 it will become 0 and next control will go here i value becomes 1 0 plus 1 so we'll get k as 1 and next again it will go here we don't have any range so it will come out of the loop when n is 3 so we'll get 0 1 2 i value will be initially 0 so we'll get k as 0 next i value will be 1 so we'll get 1 next when i value will be 2 1 plus 2 so we'll get 3 okay so in this way we can find the k value and using k value we can find the starting value of the pattern so here i need to take k equal to 0 that is the extra value which we want to add to n to get the starting value next i need to use a for loop for i in range n here you need to take k equal to k plus i so to get the k value next here to get the starting value if i take starting value as m n plus k next here you can print m we are done so if i execute this so number of rows if i enter 5 here you can see 15 15 15 we are getting 15 so we got the starting point next to get the other value you need to decrement m by 1 here here you can see 15 14 3 12 11 10 here we can see we got the output we are not getting the proper shape that's why here you need to format the print function format okay now if i execute this Here you can see the output. Alright. The pattern is very simple. I want to print the numbers in right triangle shape. And we are familiar with the code to print the numbers or stars in the right triangle shape. It is very simple. We need to use two for loop. I need to take n range, i plus 1 column. Then we need to print the star or draw number here using print function. Next we need to use print function. But here in this pattern, finding the starting value of the pattern is little bit difficult. So for that, to find that we used this. We took a value k equal to 0 and uh, we found the extra value. Okay, Then we added that to n and we got the starting value for the patterns. We already used this logic in another pattern program. So I will give the link of that video in the description box. If you have any doubt here, you can watch that video. Alright, so that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care and be safe.